Hi, my name is Brian with DDS Analytics. Today I'm here to talk about the attrition analysis investigation your company has just performed. You want us to find factors that led to attrition, turnover, and learn about any job specific trends that may exist. Your company provided the data for investigation purposes, and I'm now going to talk about how we use that data. There are many different accuracy tests, but we chose the neural network test because we wanted the test to be able to generate its own understanding of the data, also called features. The test concluded a 0.998% accuracy, and that gave us the highest accuracy for modeling results. So in our first result, we chose gender and role versus job satisfaction. And what we found is that females are at least happy in being human resources. Males are at least happy as a director. Females preferred executive technician and scientist roles. Males preferred manager or human resources roles. Then we looked at years in current role versus years since last promotion. And what we found is that promotions are not very frequent after the first five years of employment and the seven ten year mark had the highest amount of employees without promotions. Promotions started becoming more frequent around the 15 year range, which we thought was kind of interesting. So next we looked at gender versus job satisfaction and salary. And what we found is that both genders actually have a medium satisfaction in regards to salary. Females were a little bit higher than males, but but, but they were pretty much about the same. We also looked at gender versus years of the company versus job satisfaction. And what we found is that they're about the same. We found that females are less likely to be employed after the 30 years of service. Some leave a little bit before. And that's why you kind of see gaps between 20 and 30 and then after 30 years. And this kind of makes it consistent with uh, uh, employment after the 30-year mark, which we'll see in a little bit. Age versus years at the company versus job satisfaction. Overall, job satisfaction mainly scored uh, between a 3 and a 4. Um, the highest density was uh, within the 10-year range. Um, again, after the 10-year mark, um, I believe that it, employees tend to uh, disappear rather than go on or whatever happens after the 10-year mark. And after 20 years of service, the job satisfaction drops significantly. So we decided to look at attrition versus years at the company. And for the first 25 years of service, it looks pretty consistent with people leaving off and on, uh, especially as you gain more years of service. Um, but there's definitely more attrition after the 30 years of employment, and it's in chunks. And, out, and in later tests, you're going to see that it's actually got to do with age more than anything. So we looked at salary versus attrition. We looked at, we looked at different factors, but we saw that employees with the lowest salaries overall they tend to leave the most. Um, but for the most part, it didn't seem like salaries were a big reason. We just wanted to put that in there, uh, because we talked about salaries before. And so it, it, it doesn't seem like, uh, it's something that you need to worry about. So, Overall, uh, employees are staying with the company for million, many years. Salaries don't seem to be a factor for attrition. Um, possible further investigations would be why females are leaving the company around the 30 year mark. Uh, investigate why males and females are less happy in certain positions and investigate promotion and frequency for employees. And with that being said, that is going to conclude our investigation. I'm going to now leave it up for Q&A. And if you don't have any questions, we'll be able to go ahead and close the meeting. Thank you.